To bring the war here would be to bring the war to the biggest refugee camp on earth. I have in my many years as a humanitarian worker never seen a population so bombarded over such a long time in such a crowded area with no escape. So this situation is screaming for a ceasefire. It has to be fixed now by the United States, Egypt, Qatar and those who are negotiating and Israel which has this overwhelming military force needs to understand that the population that is being bombarded is by and large totally innocent. They had nothing to do with the 7th of October. This is Rafa, really. This is ground zero for humanity. The hostages have to be released by these armed militia men. They, they should go home. But the the civilian population which is paying the price here for, for this enormous military campaign, which is waged with American, British, German arms, must also end immediately, not a day more of this project. These are uh, refugee housings just put up on a small plot of land. There is too little food. There is really no uh, clean water available. There is epidemic disease and there is malnutrition. And it's the same in school after school. In the far north, where people are in a famine situation, there is no other way to describe it because there hasn't been aid there for a long time. 300,000 people are in the north. We want to reach them. We want to, to go beyond Rafa, where, where conditions also very bad, but it's very, very hard because only a few trucks come over the border every day and many of them are even looted by desperate people who haven't gotten, gotten aid. We need a ceasefire so we can have rational, organized humanitarian work across the Gaza Strip. The Kuwaiti industrial site was a, a projected industrial site. People broke in out of desperation. 300 families that got 300 family tents by NRC. Now there are 27,000 people in this stretch of, uh, of, de of desert, of, of, of sand. And they are yearning for peace. They are yearning for a ceasefire. They are at the limit at the moment.